We are playing Hi-Fi Rush. Uh, the, this came out earlier this year. It's the latest game from Tango Gameworks, makers of The Evil Within, and uh, their last game, which I streamed, Ghostwire Tokyo. So when this came out early in 2023, it was a big surprise because um, very different from anything Tango has made previously. They're known as the horror people. They make the horror games. And this is not a horror game. Um, they went in a, There's a completely different direction going on here. Also, another reason it surprised people is because I believe this came out on the same day that it was announced. Um, so no one even was aware this was coming until the day it came out. It's a rhythm-based uh, beat-em-up, let's say. Character action with music. Speaking of music, there is one thing that ver is very important we make sure that we check. There it is. So this game has a lot of licensed music, uh, but we have streamer mode turn on, which we should do if I plan to post videos of gameplay on the internet, because they will replace the licensed songs with the original songs that they made for the game. My understanding is that the, uh, is that the original music is also very good. Some, some might say even better than the licensed music that they have, which is interesting. So we're playing with streamer mode on, though uh, if we were to play with the licensed music, you know, who knows what that experience would be like, if that would be any better or any worse. I don't know. I've only played the beginning of this game. I played it a little bit, not long after it came out, and then just never got back to it. You know, a lot of games coming out this year, and this is a game that I've been thinking all year, hey, I'll get back to that now, and then now became later, and later is now now. So let's just, yeah, let's just start playing it. Let's just start playing it. <clears throat> all right, let's begin and get an idea of the story of uh, what this is all about and who this guy with the guitar is. But which difficulty are we going to are we going to choose? Well, easy asks if we struggle with high speed action games. Um, rhythm timing is loose. Enemy health low. Received damage low. Increased health drops. Normal, if I have a sense for rhythm, but I'm not quite sure my action game skills. But if I stay on beat, I can go up against challenges and come up on top. Auto action mode can be enabled. Rhythm timing is normal. Enemy health, normal. Damage, normal. Increased health drops. Then there's hard. Hi-Fi Rush combines rhythm timing with high-speed action. Feel you can handle both? Then this is where you should start. Challenge and testing of your abilities. Then there's very hard. For those looking to put their souls of rhythm and thirst for the fight at the top. You have to use all your skills, be active, and have great timing. Well, I'm just going to go with normal. Yeah, normal's fine. No problem with normal. Alright, let's be introduced to the story. Future rock star. Are you done? Uh, yes. Uh, whatever. Here's your Project Armstrong Pass. And welcome to Vandalay Campus. Yes!
Welcome, applicant, to Project Armstrong. Technology perfectly fused with the human body. Together, we create better lives. And now, the CEO of Vandalay Technology, Kale Vandalay! What a historic day. You're the best of the best, and about to be even better. Thanks to our robot enhancements, Vandalay has always been about helping those in need. And you all in Project Armstrong are about to show the world just how special you can become. Now go, get ready for a better life. I think they just called my name. Promised me the best of the best, Mimosa. Production asked for test subjects, Kale. Marketing delivered. Don't pin it on Rekka! Tell that grandstander Zanzo in R&D We need people with influence. And you're giving me... Losers! It'll work. It better. No slip-ups. And no defense. What a piece of junk. <laughs> An error has occurred. Please proceed to the checkpoint. Okay, checkpoint. Where's that? Ah, uh, don't worry. Probably no big deal. Alright, so here's Chai. He came here to get a robot arm. Which... I mean, his old arm looked broken. I don't know if that was permanent. Or if that would have gotten better. But why, instead of waiting for that to heal, why not get equipped with a new shiny robot arm? And that's what he's here for. Did you come to check out what a great job I did stacking these boxes? Or were you looking for the exit? If so, 180 degrees behind you, lad. And the boxes, they're stacked. I mean, I they look very even. No, one's, no one can say otherwise. Dear, my cleaning has caused an even greater mess. Your jumping, however, was impressive. Well, clearly, this company has done a lot in terms of creating robots, but now they want to fuse robotics to people. We can't talk to everyone. Okay, energy drinks to restore his health, because that, you know, health energy drinks, as we know, very healthy. Well, I guess it makes it it makes just about as much sense as painkillers being like a health item or something like that. And like in you know, and when it comes down to it, what do we think the health drinks in Silent Hill actually are? 
What are they? We told you no more than ten boxes at once. Look at what you have done. Surely we will face consequences. It has been a privilege working with all of you. I'm trying to take shortcuts. Sometimes it just leads to failure. My slippery robot hands. I have failed my duties. I will surely be fired. Or even worse, Rekka! Oh no, the robots have been programmed with anxiety. Why do that? Please collect your belongings. Yeah, time to get out of these clothes. Magnetic Waste Management a fixture. Wait, Magnetic Waste Management? Mm, foreign object warning. Looks like a defect. Take him in. <laughs> Is that a weapon? Uh, I don't think so. I think he's resisting. Wait, what? <laughs> Oh no, we came here to get a robot arm, and now we're in the middle of combat. Okay, what is going on? Right. First, music player in my chest. Pretty sure that's not supposed to be there. Second, it's powering up my new robot arm. Third, it's making everything sync up with the beat. And this sounds ridiculous. But when the music kicks in, it feels like, like, like I'm on a stage. <gasps> Well, oh no, our cybernetic arm is causing us to have delusions. Whoa. Chai's here, and his attacks sync up with the music. You all want to see it in action? Let's start with a light attack, a one-beat attack that quickly connects combos. Go ahead, try it out. Well, I guess what else can we do but just go along with it? Now try a combo and beat to the music. This will be what perfect timing feels like. Look at you! Perfect timing on that one! Aw, oh, yeah! Your attacks always land on the beat, but press the attack button exactly on the beat to give bonuses in battle. We love battle bonuses. You're ready for more. Head on over. How 
about delivering some real damage, the heavy attack. This one takes two beats to land, so listen carefully for the beat in the middle. I got this. All right, now try out a heavy combo in rhythm. This is the kind of timing to aim for. Look around for the perfect timing because everything in the world pulsates to the beat. Just relax and feel the beat. There's an icon that shows us when we attack right on beat. Or we could press the, well, the, you know, I'm never really sure what the modern names for these buttons are, but it's the select button. We can just bring up the meter at the bottom if we want to. What an accident of science this is. His iPod combining with his cybernetics to cause the whole world to go on a beat. And also he can create the magnetic guitar in his hand. I don't think that's has anything to do with waste management though, with garbage collecting. Uh, big moss of protection wreck here. here. And what's this I hear about a DD fix running wild in wreck a soul? Anyone sees his kid running around? Wreck a watch it. Smash it! No defect gets out of protection! Not on Wrecker's watch! Okay, clearly not someone I want to run into. Hello there. Can I be of assistance? Uh, what are you? Vandalay Smartbridge VASF07. But commonly known as Smidge. Not very catchy, but I can analyze your well-being and guide you to satisfaction. Let me indulge. Hey, no indulging. You seem to have musical robot powers. Would you like me to explain your malfunctioning abilities? So it seems your problem may be attacking enemies to the beat. I wouldn't say it's a problem. Attacking enemies on the beat does more damage, so I sense it is beneficial for you to do so. For some people, the beat is hard to find like inner peace. But here are some tips. Your attacks always land on the beat. Right. Regardless of when I hit the button, he'll attack it on the beat. It's just that if I hit the button on the beat, then I do better. And since it's beneficial to attack on the beat, pressing the attack button again when your hit strikes is the perfect time. Hmm. And if you need even more help, it seems you have a rhythm assist. But rather than explaining it, why don't you try it out on me? You want me to hit you? I can see it excites you. So please, practice your light and heavy attacks on me. Smidge loves it when we beat him up. Now let's try a heavy attack. Yeah. 
just like I thought. You can do it. Wow, these fringes are great. You really do know me. I know everything about you. I look forward to our next chat. Okay, that was just creepy. Let me know if you'd like to try again. Well, Smidge is our friend, but it, it seems like he wants to be more than just friends. We just met Smidge, and he seems he's already he's already ready to take this relationship to the next level. Maybe Smidge moves a little too fast. I don't know. All right, can get gears, which you know that's going to be money for later. You know, sometimes you might be a little socially awkward and not really sure how to get off on the right foot with someone. It may be tempting to say, hey, if you want to beat me up, feel free. I want you to do it. You know, maybe you think that's the way to go about it, but most people will not appreciate it. Some people might. What's suspicious? Could be. Hey! You looking for me? Try and catch this. Oh, it wants me to dodge. We could dodge like this. We can jump attack. Yeah, you might notice that this whole level is uh, about the tutorial. Because Chai has many moves, and we need to learn them. We need to explore Chai's body and understand what it's capable of, just like Smidge wants to do. Turn out to be a real bummer. I want a cool robot arm, not a target on my head. Chai seems perfectly fine with replacing body parts with cybernetics. He thinks it's awesome. He doesn't seem to have much of a problem with only having four fingers on that hand. You think that would cause a? You think that would feel odd? Take some getting used to. He doesn't seem to have a problem with it. I was watching you down there. You seem very good at dodging. Oh, yeah. I, I think I can do that. Analyzing your personal data, and I can see that your dodge is very versatile. Apparently, dodging with a beat enables up to a triple dodge and even pulling items from far away. All right, let's remember, dodge on the beat and I can dodge more. Dodging in the air is not only useful in fights, but also for getting to hard to reach places. But I know what you're thinking. Light and heavy attacks can be chained right after a dodge. I actually wasn't thinking about that. Of course you were, but make sure to press the attack button right after a dodge. Don't question Smidge. He knows what you're thinking. He knows what you want. So how about it? Try it out on me. Okay. Well, sorry in advance. Your hits only fill me with joy. That's right. The harder we hit, the, the happier it makes them. Okay, dodge and hit. Correct. I thought you should know. Dodge, hit. There we go. Hooray! But there's still one more move up your sleeve. Okay. Heavy attack after dodging. And we air launch. Fantastic. Now here is a refreshing beverage. I hope I was useful. Hurt me more, Chai. Anyone who thinks of taking a break today is getting crushed. Hello, I'm here. Cat rescuer, you said you'd help out? <sighs> Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Good, you made it. Down here. All right, so I'll keep this quick. 
Uh... I saw you fight back there. I think we might be able to help each other. I thought... Security's all over you, which I could help you with. Stop! Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. That was you back there? You're a cat? No, this is Ada Wood. She is a cat, but I built her. Look, like I was saying... You know, I thought my music robot arm power was crazy, but this is... Um... Probably better off by myself. Dude, listen, Vandalay's up to something, and I said I can help. Thanks, but I'm good. Responding. What did you do? Oh, hold on, did you just feel that? That beat? I think we got something here. Look who's back. Andy's got a friend. Thanks to 808, Chai's got a new skill up his sleeve. A beat hit. It's a timing-based bonus attack at the end of a combo. On the last hit, watch for the timing circle and press any attack button to land it. It appears Chai is capable of bringing other people into his world of music. Well, people and machines. Though he is unaware of it. He knows not what he does. He knows not his power. There it is. Going pro. To land a beat hit, listen to the countdown or look for the two circles overlapping to nail perfect timing. Try a beat hit with your heavy combo. You're on your own with this one. This is awesome! Beat hits are key for doing strong combos and damage. So don't forget to feel that beat. 808, was it? I think we got something going on here. Hey, so offer reconsidered, but I'm gonna borrow your cap for a little bit. What? Why? Hey, you wanted to help, right? Don't worry, it's just till I get out of here. <sighs> you better not run off with her. Okay, so now we have a little floating cat head sidekick. I mean, it can change back to a cat. Right now, it's just kind of a floating cat orb. Excellent. Got a life gauge piece. Collecting four. Increase our health gauge. You seem to have a new friend. I hope it has not replaced me. Wait, we were friends? But you seem able to do a beat hit now. Wow, you really can't read into my innermost thoughts. Correctly activating a beat hit seems to unleash enormous power. The musically inclined may be able to just hear the countdown and attack accordingly. Am I musically inclined? Can I just hear the countdown? But a more visual solution is to wait until timing circles overlap. That's probably what I need to do. If you're still having trouble, you can tap the attack button every beat before the attack and still land it as well. You'll want to use this one, so I'll be your practice buddy. How about a light combo first? I know you know this one. And now let's try that heavy combo again. I want to see you shine. Such energy. It gives me tingles. Please enjoy a cool and calming beverage. I'll be here if you want to practice more. Well, I'm glad I was able to make, feel, make Smidge feel the tingles. And he rewarded me with his fluids. It makes Smidge very happy to watch us drink his fluids. He would prefer it if we just stood there in front of him and drank it so he could see. Bring it on. All right, try out my beat hits.
ready for more? like all of them. Maybe things aren't so bad after all. Okay. Remind me to ask you later how you did all that. Like I know. Anyway, your turn. I need to get out of wherever I am. You're in production, and the only direct exit is through quality assurance. You see it? So many buildings. It's hard to tell. It's the one that literally says QA Center on it. Oh, yeah. That one. But with that way out, they're probably expecting you, so... You had me at way out. Let's go. All right, fight to the beat for a higher score. You know, be do better to make your score big. Number go up, we love it. We love big number. Being cocky isn't going to get you out of here. Uh, the best solution is the most obvious. That's wrong and terrible advice. You're wanted. We need to outsmart them. Well, then I'll fight my way out. Are you an idiot? That's literally the opposite of outsmarting them. Well, Chai is not big into outsmarting anyone. He just, you know, lets things happen. And things just, they, they, they'll all work out, right? Why wouldn't they? To all employees, Rekka here. This is important, so all caps. The, yes, you know it's an important email when it's in all caps. Kale's visiting the facility, and Rekka knows all you grimy grease hands are fixing your nuts and bolts to get things working. But Rekka wants this place shining on Armstrong Day, and someone spell check those Armstrong scanners. You hear that voice? That's the crowd cheering when those Armstrong units are pumping out to the public. And when Rekka gets her nice bonus at the end of the fiscal, Rekka will be sure to name check you all in that millisecond before Rekka kicks back and gives herself a round of applause. So something that I noticed in the amount of the game I played, uh, you know, whoever, uh, the, whoops, the writing staff on this game doesn't seem to have too much of a very high opinion of, let's say, the executives of the C-suite, let's say. Don't know if it's anyone in mind or if it's just, you know, the executives in general. I'm telling you, that was Kale in the flesh. You don't even have flesh. You wouldn't know. Actually being in production, does that count that I met him? No, it doesn't. So get over it and let's fix this staircase. Close to you. Fall in love with a robot. Or maybe it's just falling in love with technology in general. And don't we all love technology? Okay. Jumping down. There we go. And just think, if the, uh, the, I if the iPod was not... To compensate for added Project Armstrong flow, a new day of the week was added. Please note on this additional day of the week, working is mandatory. Well, I mean, of course. What's the purpose of the additional day of the week? If, if it's not mandatory, I mean, come on. Like, that's the entire purpose of adding the additional day, isn't it? Oh, hello there again, friend. Yeah, uh, hey. I was just looking around, and it seems like the whole world seems to be moving to your musical superpowers. You know, I was actually noticing that too. Finding the beat is as simple as looking around. Even the environment reacts to the beat. I think this is what those young people call being in the zone. That's what the young people say. They say it all the time. Yes? Oh! I remembered something else. Must be really important. With everything moving to the beat, that also means Vandalay's robots. Looking at your recorded data, it seems all Vandalay security units are moving and acting to the same rhythm as you. Which means 
By paying close attention, you'll know exactly when attacks will come. On the beat! It's like we can see the future. Feel the beat to attack. Feel the beat to dodge. Things are seeming quite simple now. Uh, just imagine if, uh... If Chai's iPod had not been fused in his chest. I mean, he would be going on his way to his new job uh, in waste management right now. Funny to think about how such important things can happen from such such accidents. Hey, hey, how are there two smidges? I see two smidges at the same time. Is there more than one smidge? I thought he was just moving around everywhere really fast. How many smidges are there? Do we have to be friends with all the smidges? Or is it one smidge mind in multiple bodies at the same time are able to transmit his mind into the other bodies? I mean, it, it, when you're talking about robots and machines, anything's possible. Anything is possible. Who can say how it works? Not even Chai knows how his thing works. I'm always a bit tired. I think I'm okay. Sometimes it's best to take a rest. By that, I mean a rest combo. After a light attack hits, wait one beat, and then attack again with a light attack to create a new combo. Okay. You'll know when to press the beat because you'll hear a clap sound. And even better, this combo will take you and your enemies into the air. Wow, sounds neat. But I may need to practice. I hoped you'd say that. Take my breath away. Uh, yeah, sure. All right. Now that's it. Enjoy a drink. A me, of course. Yeah, sure. All right, we've got some side-scrolling action. It's a good thing Chai is, you know, so young and so Huge. elastic. It's more like a city. The perks of being the world's leading tech company. Vandalay likes to show off. But I'm Oops. looking for what they're hiding. Oh, you like digging up secrets. How about telling me your name? If it took you this long to ask, you can wait a bit longer. I'm Chai, by the way. Chai? All right, then. That Chai is such a rebel. The signs is explicitly say do not jump on top. They say it. Wow. A lot of shortcuts around here.
battery pack production, production order from R&D. PGR 0101 unit, 313040, over at the labs. Zonzo wants this unit out there for sale today, even though he thought of the idea yesterday. Product name, expanded battery pack for Project Armstrong power units. By design, the battery is made to fail at the six month mark, exactly a minute past the warranty period. Zanzo wants to put out this battery supercharger to help that? I don't know what he wants anymore. You didn't hear it from me, but all it does is mess up the charge and wear it out faster. But FYI, this thing is like a lightning rod. Zanzo didn't want any protective covering since it looked cooler. Wear rubber gloves or something. We are being watched. You always have to keep working. That's correct. Battery production activated. Don't touch the red lasers. Obviously. I wouldn't touch that. Well, you're not dead. That's a plus. The opposite, actually. It feels like I'm powered up. 808 is showing me you've got a lot of energy stored up in your arm. How about letting it out? No problem. We just took in a very dangerous amount of electricity, but it all worked out because why wouldn't it? It gives us special attacks. We can press Pushing the, pushing the sticks at the time to use that energy. And attacking on the beat, collecting batteries will charge up the reverb gauge. Don't explode. Power core! Look, it's no problem. The, the the machine, the technology we're talking about here, very secure, very stable. Nothing bad could possibly happen. By overcharging the battery in our robot arm and then letting it out all at once. It all, The only thing that's going to happen is make something cool happen. I bet Smidge is, is psyched for this, to get hit by our special attack. Oh, wow. You seem to be able to now use special attacks. That literally just happened. Reminder, I know a lot about you. Yeah. But these special attacks are key. You really are channeling your energy here. Landing beat hits will knock batteries out of your enemies to charge your reverb gauge. But it seems like all the energy will disappear after a battle. Seems like you aren't built to hold that much of a charge. So remember to use it while you have it. Right, so we don't have to think about like uh, conserving power for the next fight. It's just whatever the fight is that's happening right now. Like they say, if you don't use it, you live with constant regret over what could have been. Correct? <laughs> oh, do I? It's not how I remember it. Oh, does he not want us to beat him up? All right, he's missing out. Found him. <laughs> Wrecker wants him wasted, so let's waste him. Come on. Uh oh, they got guns.
that at all. Risk of Workload Avalanche. Well, I mean, I guess it's just robots. I guess it doesn't... You know, safety is an optional thing. You just rebuild more robots, I suppose. Old Gen EOL Reminder, Vandalay Tech Repurposing. Order requesting all end-of-life Vandalay robotics to be brought to production and used for scrap to make new models. Yeah, like I said, you're just gonna you're just gonna make new robots. Even the tech that we are still using. Not sure why, since they work fine, but apparently this is coming from Kale himself. But I don't ask the questions, I just write the notices. Also, it should be noticed that, that noted that my series is also due to be scrapped. So I guess this is goodbye. I'm writing this from from a conveyor belt, so I just wanted to. Email sent automatically. Well, yeah, of course you're going to scrap the old tech, even if it still works fine. Like, we're, we're, we need, we're going to make the new stuff now. We need to get rid of the old stuff to make the new, even if the old is still working. All right, treasure chest robot. Three, two, one, go! Little button mash mini game there for that ass. Dangerous area. Keep. Who's your hands? It's da is it dangerous for your hands, or are there no hands allowed out of here? I feel the signage is not the most clear. down there? I don't think there is. Or up here. It doesn't seem like there was any anything down there. Don't hit that. Whatever you do. Uh-oh. Power's out. Generator looks busted. Could you fix it? Any tools nearby? Tools? <laughs> I got a better idea. Tools? I have guitar. I hit. I bash. That's tool. Oh, that's not a button mash. That is a circle. It's the only tool we need. We hit thing hard, we hit it, and it work. It's called percussive engineering. I told you to check that generator. You had one job. You set me up. What? Rekka will destroy both of us if we run behind. Well, someone fixed it, so stop yelling at me! No need to fight. Chai's here to solve all the problems. Zero defects. I mean, I guess the sign needs to be changed to one defect. But only one. And one's, you know, that's not too bad. One. In fact, it gives you, like, it's some... It gives you additional character to say that, yeah, there was the one defect. But no one's perfect. I'm so excited to see 
It's, it's not just about doing the job right. It's about how do you deal with failure? You know, that's just as valuable as doing it right. Sick days must be registered six months before desired date. Asterisk. Sick days for robotic employees will not be approved. I, s s jokes like that about unreasonable policy about how you can apply for sick days. I feel like that's someone on the team that has a bit of a grudge against someone. Tough enemies. Won't react to the, my attacks until I break the stun gauge. Once it's broken, we can knock them back or lift them in the air for combos. We need to uh, continuously attack an enemy to break them. Leave them alone for too long, they'll recharge their gauge. So focus on one attack. On one enemy. Attack the one enemy with the focus. Uh, let's see. There are two ways we can go. Uh, there's batteries over here. Re, 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 get on this. Hello, Mr. Roquefort. I think you may have sent this to me accidentally. Kale, look what I have to deal with. Roquefort, just tell me when we're going to hit those Q4 delivery numbers. Rekka, look, get her done. Can you stop yelling? Caps lock is broken. Rekka works hard and types hard. I don't care how hard you work. If those units aren't out the door, we won't make the Q4 forecast. Then tell Zonzo to stop coming in so hot with the designs. Design is his problem. Making them is yours. Don't mess. Rekka got the Armstrong line up and running in 17 hours. While you're counting bills, Rekka's smashing rivets. You don't smash rivets. Look, all your hype talk better live up to it. All right, I guess Roquefort is in finance. Zonzo is in design. Rekka, of course, is QA. That's where we are right now. So all of the executives kind of hate each other as well. Rhythm games can be a little stressful. How about combining those heavy and light attacks for even more combos and beat hits? Now's the time to try it out. How was the announcer speaking to us outside of our hallucination? The announcer voice is penetrating into the real world. Project Armstrong, the world is in our hands. Our very strong metal hands. Time to mix heavy and light attacks. Timing gets a little trickier, but give it a shot. Perfect, like it should be. All right. So we, ha we do have other combos than light and heavy. We can combine. I can access the combo list at any time. Almost out of here. Jumping prohibited. Do no jumping. I mean, if they just say no jumping, you're just going to want to, you're going to want to do it.
Let's go! It. Told you this was easy. That's bait, idiot. They're clearly expecting you. With what? Nothing I can't handle. That's the attitude. I used to run this facility. Now, you have me stacking boxes. But I'll say, this is a fine stack. A great job. Yeah, I mean, it's not what you're doing. It's that you have pride in what you're doing. That you can be proud of the hard day's work you put in. You must disapprove of my work. Yet, I do not. Please, I have work to do. They may have destroyed me stack, but my memories remain. Oh. What a good job it was. You know, Oscar has the right attitude. I mean, even if every evidence of your work has been wiped out, hey, everything's going to get wiped out eventually. Everything is temporal. Nothing's really permanent. But the, me the memories remain. That's the important part. And here's a, a note from Oscar. I'm getting the feeling that us Oscar series are getting overlooked. Back when we were in charge of QA, we made sure the quality was there, but we also saw if things could be fixed. A dent in the body? Replace it, since everything's fine. A light not working? Again, just fix it. But now with one mil, it's all or nothing. Even a scratch and there's nothing but a crater left behind. QA should inspect something. It doesn't need rocket launchers. My, how things have changed around here. Does QA need rocket launchers? I've never worked in QA myself. Actually, there might be some situations where rocket launchers could be beneficial. Defects blown up 25%. Defects eaten 3%. Defects vanished to the void 2%. Today's QA count, defects smashed 70. It, uh, hmm. The robots don't seem especially tasty. In the old days, they tried to actually fix the defects. Now, the slightest scratch, and they're destroyed. It shows you the values of the, of the new breed of management these days. See, just like I thought. It's fine. You need to relax. Introducing the head of production, Rekka! Oh no. Hello! There you are, man. Messing with Rekka's crew, Rekka's production, and worst of all, yeah, Rekka's perfect, no defect record! Your security tried to kill me! Project Armstrong, E-U-L-A. Fine print. Should've read it, punk. Defects get recalled! Uh, recalled? You mean killed? Rekka ain't picked the verbs! That's for the mooks in marketing. Anyway, thanks for being dumb enough to just waltz in here. 
Rick ain't gotta get her hands dirty. I told you. Welcome to the Project Armstrong defect check, honey. And our QA's the best in the business. Hey-o! Uh, whoa! It's time for Chai's quality to be assured. Well, you need sensitive hands if you're inspecting with those hands. That only makes sense. Hand down, Chai. Go get him. Oops, I bonked. Ah, these would be the rocket launchers. Get 
got a killer track. But every song's gotta end. We did the first level. And Chai made it out. Well, actually, that was production, I think. I don't think we actually win the QA. Well, no, that was that was the um, the QA robot. I mean, how are they going to continue their perfect record if the QA robot has been destroyed? They're going to have to delay things? And you, Kale is not going to want to delay production on it that's not how things work things have to just keep going no matter what problems come up um but that's gonna break Rekka's perfect qa record well that's stage one Whoa! did you see that yeah yeah but this time just shut up and follow me we really got to get out of here. No complaining this time. All right, all right. Are you scared? What? No. I mean, it is a little dark. Uh, hey, there are no spiders down here, right? Or like... Robot spiders? Oh, please don't let there be robot spiders. <gasps> this it? In here. Uh, uh, hello? Catbot? Cartoon character? So that's where the magic happens, huh? My name is Peppermint. Wait, that voice! You're the cat! 808 is my eyes and ears out there. But it looks like she's taken a liking to you. Wait, 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 okay, she's yours! She's yours! Get up, slacker. We've got work to do. Uh, uh, so, 808 said you said you were gonna help me get out of here. I am. Right after you help me look into Spectra. I don't even know what that is. Don't expect you to. This is whistleblower level. So... bad? Yes. And I'm working with a team to expose them. We're small, but... Small meaning just you and your cat? I'm bigger than this. Says Rockstar here. Do you even actually play guitar? I... <laughs> well... Figures. I'll talk. Um... Uh... Look, this campus is a maze of hallways, lifts, and dead ends, filled with security. You'll need my help to get out of here. Nah, so far I've done pretty... Oh. Hmm. Horrible if it wasn't for me. Look, if you help me... I'll make sure you get off Vandalay Island. Fine. Whatever, I guess. Perfect. 
Look, Chai knows that being a rock star is about the attitude. It's the vibe. It's not about whether or not you can you do can do things like play the guitar or compose music or sing. Like these, you know, they're nice to be able to do, but it's really all it's really more about the vibe more than anything else. Chai knows this. This is the hideout. We can enjoy some downtime between missions. Like it says, take in the vibe. Walk around the hideout to vibe with things. Sit down on the couch to vibe the story. This is your hideout? You really are a small operation. Well, now we're plus one. You can rest on that sofa. Luxury suite, I see. By the way, I may be able to help you out with some upgrades if you have some spare parts. Let's chat before we head out. All right, so let's run around and see what we can do in the hideout. I'm not the master of Vandalay tech, but with some gears, I may be able to give you a bit more fight. More fight? Can you be more specific? I set up a shop for you. Here you can learn new attacks. You can use them just by buying them. Here's your chance to learn new special attacks. All right, so let's see. Special Each attack oh. requires a certain amount of reverb gauge, so make sure you have enough before buying. Also, special attacks need to be equipped. You can't just use them all. Well, why not? Why can't we just use all of our special attacks at the same time? Power cord requires... So, I'll just slot in my attack, and I'm good to go. And finally, here are items for some permanent upgrades. What's this? I've got an idea for something, but let's just say it's still in pre-pro. How are you doing all this with gears? Don't underestimate me. I can do more than you think. All right. Let me see what you got. You can do anything with scrap metal. All right, here are, com here are combos that we can buy. We have 25,000 gears. So there's not too much that we can buy. Special attacks. Pick me up, which is... Okay, so this is a health recharge. Overdrive. I do not have enough gauges for that. Not enough. Items, like life. I can increase my v reverb core. Health tank. Now, it activates automatically when health is depleted. And I don't have enough special attacks. I can buy a new slot. Well, you know, maybe it's on the more boring side, but I feel that increasing your life is always a good bet in any game, really. And then, okay, they get more expensive as we go. All right, so I can't buy a new, another one. I could increase my, core, my, ver my reverb core. All right. Upgrading our health a little bit. Upgrading our our battery for our special attacks. Okay, these are the, the text logs that I've been finding. The TV is showing this uh, schematics image at all time. The only thing it ever shows. It's incredibly burned in by now. Like, you could try changing the channels, but it would just look like this on every channel. The Wall of Fame. Complete challenges to flesh out a mural. So, we're 34 out of 50 on Take Em All Out Level 1. There are... Oh, there's another one. Release that energy. Land a special attack. 11 out of 15. Home Run King. Knock enemies into the sky. Do a combo in the air. RB to Y, then XXXX. Do a combo, X, rest, XX, then XXXX. Nailed it. Land a beat hit. Oh, we almost got that one. Achieve a final battle rank of S. Break enemy stun gauges. Aerial raving. Achieve an aerial rave bonus in combat. 50 hit combo, but 50 hit combo. Okay. 100 hit combo. Collect gears. Buy all the special attacks. Buy every power up. Max out the life gauge. Max out the reverb gauge. 
There are many slots, many, many slots. Pilfer the contents of every treasure chest. Words are, words are hard. I'm always saying this. Read half of all the vlogs. No, they're not vlogs. They're not video logs. They're very specifically not video. Beat the track one boss fight without taking any damage. Totally destroy QA one mil's face. Oh, we could have done more damage to his face. Chain together dashes with the beat. Jump along with the beat. Land attacks with just timing. All right, so I guess this is... If you want to redo missions, get all the bonus stuff. This seems like a pretty long-term thing that you would have to, you know, basically do everything you could in the game to actually fill this out. Right. Let's. Oh, what is there? Is this a? Is something? Yeah, this is something here. Well, we don't have anything here at the moment. So that things will be there, I suppose. All right. Chai's thoughts. Man, what have I gotten myself into? Well, at least it'll be a cool story to tell in five years. Don't know if it's a, don't know if it's any better or worse than Chai's previous situation, since we don't know anything about where he came from or who he is. Or the only thing we know is that he wants to be a rock star, but uh, he's kind of a an enigma at the moment. We can play with 808. So tell me, do you like me or peppermint more? Be honest. 808 will never say. All right, we can go into the next stage, and that's what we'll do as we... Well, we'll take a little break, and then we'll continue on with Hi-Fi Rush as we have to talk with Peppermint. Peppermint is not all... She, she, she's not about escaping from the campus. She wants to take down Vandalay Industries from underneath it, I guess. I guess we're underground under the, the campus. And she's blowing the whistle on some nefarious, malevolent corporate activities, which Chai doesn't care about at all. So we'll continue on with Hi-Fi Rush.